Hi there, this is Bobby from Crafty Lively Lady, and I'm going to show you how to measure, mark, and fold. Measure, mark, fold, and cut a uh, book folding pattern. So here is a typical book folding pattern. You'll notice you have a page column here, and I always ignore this because very seldom when I figure out where um, my starting page is actually going to be so that my pattern is centered within my the pages of my book, I think maybe three times I've gotten to where the first cut is on page one. So you can X that out, whatever. I write what my page numbers are on the side so I can keep track. But anyway, don't worry about that. That's another topic. Um, I want to talk really about all of these numbers. These are measurements. They're centimeters. And you're going to mark on this particular page. You'll have two marks. So let me show you what that looks like. So you take your ruler and starting at the top of your page of your book somewhere close to the edge you're going to make little marks for those two measurements i have a 4.9 and a 5.8 so i'll make two little marks so i know where i'm going to need to cut 4.9 5.8 so i have my marks and i'm going to take my scissors and i cut about halfway up in the margin area and i like to fold my pages up to those lines of the writing. Let me show you. So a little snip, a little snip, and then you take that little tab and you fold it right up to those lines and that just kind of keeps your folds um, the same throughout your book. All right, so I'm already done with that page. So put that one aside. Um, let's do that again. The next page tells me 4.3 and 5.8. So I'll just measure again. 4.3, 5.8. Again, just going to snip up. And I use the lines of the writing in the book to kind of keep my scissors um, perpendicular to the edge of the book. When you don't have writing, you can always see writing in from the back side. So you will still be able to get to the right distance there. All right, that one's done. I'm going to skip down to where there's lots of measurements. And you do the exact same thing. You just mark all the way across on your page. So let me pick one of those to show you. So we've got, let's see, a 1.8, a 2.8, 3.7, 4.7, 5.8, Six one eight so ten and a twelve five. Okay, I've got a lot of marks there. Again, I'm just gonna snip up at each of those lines. That's the cutting part. All right, now all of these become little tabs. So I'm leaving my first tab because I want my picture to be in the book. If you want it raised on the book, you would be folding that first one. So now every other one goes up. So that one I folded down, and I'm gonna leave this tab, and I'm gonna fold up the next one. See if I can get that. Fold that up, kinda hard to do when you're holding them up. Leave the next one, fold up the next one. And, and that's all the cuts that I had for that time. So as you can see, let's see if I can put white under here. You can see every other tab is folded up. Okay? You continue to do that for each line, each page. Each line is a page. And when you get done with your whole pattern, all those pages, then you'll have a beautiful picture that you have created inside your book. If you have any other questions, please contact me. Thank you. Have a great day.